Welcome to Sunday School from Miss Pam. Hope everyone had a great week. If this is your first time joining us in Sunday School, welcome. We're going to start by singing a welcome song. So I need your help. When you hear the word welcome, you do this, which is a sign for welcome. And when you hear Jesus' name, I want you to go like this with your fingers. And when you hear, hear God's word, you're going to cup your ears like this, like you're listening to God. Listen to the song and listen for your names. Welcome Thomas, welcome Hilton. Hear God's word, hear God's word. We can follow Jesus, we can follow Jesus. Welcome friends, welcome friends. Welcome Elaine, welcome Elliot. Hear God's word, hear God's word. We can follow Jesus, we can follow Jesus. Welcome friends, welcome friends. Welcome Emily, welcome Evelyn. Hear God's word, hear God's word. We can follow Jesus. We can follow Jesus. Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends. Welcome, Elsie. Welcome, Balani. Hear God's word. Hear God's word. We can follow Jesus. We can follow Jesus. Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends. Welcome, everyone. I'm going to show you my Spark Bible storybook. In our story today, Jesus uses a scroll, which is like our Bible. Here is my scroll. I'm going to open it up and see what is written inside of it. It says, Jesus is our teacher and our healer. Let's see what else it says. It says, Jesus is Thomas, Elaine, Elliot, Emily, Evelyn, Hilton, Elsie, Bellany, and Miss Pam's teacher and their healer. That was cool. They had our names on the scroll. There's your names, cool. Today's story, Jesus is a teacher and he heals someone that's not feeling very well and is sick. But before we hear the story, let's sing this little light of mine. Put up your pointer finger, which will be our candle. Our candle will be doing three things. Shining, not hiding under a bush, and no one is going to blow it out. Hold up that pointer finger and help me sing the song. This light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Mm, get your bushel ready. Oh, there's a bushel over the candle. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. What's next? Okay, here we go. Won't let anyone blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let anyone blow it it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Show it around the world. Oh, here are some items that a teacher might use. Paper, a book, a pen, or a pencil. And here are some items a doctor uses to help us to feel better. He might tell us to rest and to take some medicine. In today's story, Jesus is a teacher and he's going to be a healer. Before we tell the story, we're going to do our prayers. I want you to fold your hand. Now stand up and breathe like you're a popsicle. Frozen popsicles are very still. They don't move. Let us stand up and be still like a popsicle and pray. Fold your hands and whisper as you pray today. Dear Jesus, we are still, we are quiet, Shh. we can hear you, please teach us, amen.
The story is found in your Spark Bible story page on page 254. Let's look at some of the pictures first. Here is Jesus using his scroll to teach. Here is the sick man. He is shaking. Now I will start the story. Jesus was in the synagogue, which is sort of like our church. He picked up the scroll and he began to read. Just then, a sick man near Jesus began to shake. <laughs> the sick man shouted at Jesus, 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 shh, quiet, silence. The crowd said to the man, the people did not care about the man, but Jesus cared about him. Jesus stopped his teaching and his paper down. He wanted the man to be well. Be still, he said to the sick man. Be well. The sick man became peaceful and he quit shaking. What is this? The people said in amazement. He even cures the sick. Because of this event, news of Jesus' power became to spread among the people. Who is this man? Do you remember? It's Jesus and he's our teacher. Who is this man? This man was sick and Jesus healed him. Share with your family these questions. Who makes you feel better when you are sick? My family helps me to feel better. What do you feel how do you feel? What do you do to help feel better? Let's play a loud and quiet game. We will use our hands to clap and make loud noises with our mouth. Remember, the sick man in our story was loud and Jesus was peaceful and quiet. Every time I say sick man, and make loud noises. And when I say Jesus was peaceful and quiet, we will clap our hands quietly and make quiet sounds. Okay, let's go. Sick man is loud. Quiet man is quiet. Sick man is loud. Jesus is quiet. Sick man is loud. Ooh. Jesus is quiet. Remember, Jesus is our teacher and our healer. We're going to close in our prayer time now, so I need you to fold your hand. Then clap along as you chant this prayer. Give one clap per syllable. T, G, G, Thus teach me. Healer Jesus, heal me. Teach me, heal me. Teach me, heal me. Amen, amen, amen. Let's sing our so closing song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Everybody, we'll see you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. God loves you today. See you next week.